My name is Matthew Turin. I'm 17 years old. I'm just after killing the only person I ever cared about. Do you want to know why? I'll tell you why. I was in a car crash when I was 13. That's when my mum died. I was homeschooled. Dad said it would be more beneficial if I was educated at home. Music was my favourite thing in the whole world. It was my way of escaping boredom. I could just go hours and hours without stopping. We did everything together. But it was a bit odd how strict he was. All these strict rules. Bed early. No going out without permission. Minimum of six hours sleep. No going into certain rooms. It was like a prison. And these stupid video diaries. My dad said I had to record myself answering these questions every month. Apparently, it'll be good to look back on when I'm older. I don't know. I just did it to keep my dad happy. Better get plenty of rest tonight. Recharge the old batteries. I need you to give me a hand fixing that fence tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Something weird keeps happening every time I go for a run. I, I don't know. Every time I go up by White Hill and down by the lake, the same route, I run five kilometres in 19 minutes and 7 seconds and I can't improve no matter how many times I run You just need to train a bit harder It's not that, like I, I really can't improve it's like I've reached my maximum fitness and it, 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 just, it just isn't right I should be improving with the amount of runs I do I'd go for a few days without sleep then I'd just wake up in my bed and feel fine I didn't wake up anywhere else, only my bed. Right, morning. I haven't really been sleeping very well for the past three days. Like, I can't sleep at all. I think I haven't saw any. I don't know. Really? Yeah. Everything okay in your bed? Yeah, I think so. Do anything's wrong? I don't know. When I do sleep, when, when I wake up, I, I can't remember. Like, I don't know. That's a bit strange. What are your energy levels like? Well, today it's I'm, I'm fine. Like I slept last night, but before that, the past three days, I can barely function. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Look, I'll look into it when I get into work, okay? I'd never seen a package from Synthetic Mind in my life. In fact, I'd never heard of Synthetic Mind before, which was confusing, because it was for my own bed.
who wrote these. I knew it was my writing, but I'd never even seen these notes before. Don't sleep. It's all lies. What did that even mean? I began searching around the house to see if I could see anything to do with this synthetic mind, because obviously I'd seen this before, but I haven't a clue where or when. Welcome to Synthetic Mind, the company that reanimates life with robotic artificial intelligence. From dealing with life after the death of a child to not being able to have one, we provide a service developing almost human-like artificially intelligent robotics for your personal needs. With our new technological advances and our most advanced artificial intelligence yet, we want to investigate the well-known topic, nature versus nurture. Our new Matthew model is designed as close to a human being as possible with our latest software. We are putting four identical genetically engineered Matthew robots into four different classes of families. We want to see how four identical minds react to four different environments and how their upbringing affects their personalities. To save us from coming to your home to do checkups on your Matthew model, Matthew will have to record itself answering a set of questions that will give us an understanding of the mental state of its artificial mind and will allow us to compare our results. And don't worry about batteries, as the Matthew model is wirelessly charged from its bed. The three laws of robotics prevent Matthew from harming another human. In other words, the only thing separating our robots from being fully conscious is their inability to make their own choices as they have to obey human orders at all times. To minimize the risk of Matthew becoming aware of its true origin, we have included a formatting system in its bed. So when Matthew sleeps, anything to do with artificial intelligence or the fact that it is not a real human being will be completely wiped from its memory. Okay, Matthew, time for bed, time to finish up. Matthew! Matthew, time to finish up! Matthew, what's wrong, son? Call me that, don't have her! Call me that, I'm not your son! Matthew, what are you doing? What's wrong? What did you do? Why did you do it? <laughs> no reply. What am I to you? What am I? Your experiment. Your experiment! No, oh, no, no. Look, Matthew, let me go. You have to let me go. Stop it. Stop it. No. Let, let me explain. No! I can explain. I said! Just calm. No! Just calm down. Let's sit down and talk. Let me explain. Let me explain, son. So how do you feel? Why don't you tell me? It's not how it works. No? Teach me, tell me, program me, test me. Just tell me why you did it. When Sophie died in the crash, she wasn't alone. I had a son. Excuse me, 
you meet Peter B. Hill? No, it's not like that. It's just that I was so lonely. And then I heard about the project, about Synthetic Mind, and, and I just thought maybe I don't have to be alone anymore. So I'm just a hobby? Am I just a machine? None of this is real. But it is. But it, it, it's been so real. It's been more than I ever imagined it would be. I mean, I mean, you've learned so much, and and even even figuring this thing out, synthetic minds. That that was you. That's all of your own thinking. No, none of this makes me real. I'm not a human. No. I can't do what I want. I don't have choice. Oh, you think that's what makes a human? Choice? Of course it does. You could go out and you could murder the whole street if you wanted to. But that's not what I am. That's not how I'm supposed to work. I've read the laws. A robot may not injure a human. A robot may not allow a human to come to harm. Matthew, when, when Sophie was alive, any time we went to a restaurant, nine times out of ten, she could have told you what I was going to pick in the menu and got it right. I mean, that was because she loved me and she paid attention. Okay. But it's more than that. It's just that, that I was built before she met me. You know? built by my experiences, my genetics, uh, values, beliefs, choices, all programmed. We're all... Shut up, shut up, shut up! You're just messing with my head. I'm not messing with you, Matthew, I'm really not. Yes, you are! Yes, you are. You play with me like I'm some sort of toy. That's what you do! I've had enough. Matthew, please. Matthew, please. I'm not just gonna be a robot. Matthew. Matthew, you can't go. I can do what I want. <laughs>